the girls and I and Eli are going to plant our potatoes. Um, I didn't know what to do with my potatoes. I have some specialty potatoes that I carted along with us and I didn't know what to do with them because I didn't want to put them in the ground and then buy a place and then be you know not knowing what to do so somebody one of our viewers actually uh suggested using five gallon pails and putting them in pails so that is what we decided to do now i didn't know what they were going to look like i had them in this hamper i'll just show you here a minute i don't know if you can see that because i uh one of the plastic bags that was covering the top came off and we had uh, tissue paper, or we had paper, shredded paper over top of it and in between all the, the potatoes. So I didn't know what to expect, but I'm actually quite surprised with all the roots that are still on them. Now they've like, they've had a frost, they've had cold weather, they've had rain, they've had everything under the sun. So I was really surprised on how weather, or how they weathered that. So we are going to stick them in the pots now and see how they turn out whether they grow but i think they're good i think they're still going to grow so that's exciting okay so i'm just going to literally take it in plop it in and throw some dirt on it and we'll see what happens i know there's probably a a more um i don't know professional way the next one professional way to do this but i thought we lost these things so I am just surprised and happy if anything grows. So, and Then we're going to put a little bit of dirt on the top and say voila. I just noticed over here behind our uh, camp trailer that we have a plant that um, needs to go. So if you see here, that, my friend, is poison ivy. So we have decided we are going to get rid of the poison ivy. And uh, yeah, what better way to do it with uh, than with goats?
duckies. Good morning. Good morning. How many eggs did you lay this morning, hey? Oh, there's one. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're just milking it onto the ground because it's still colostrum and we don't like the taste of colostrum. Mom says it's really good for us, but we don't really like it, so. Thanks, Mama. Thank you. This is the little, little, like, hut. Her wasp actually built it because um, the animals are um, eating all the duck food because the ducks are in this pen, too. And um, Wesley actually made it. She put the feed in those on the sides. And, um, but then Buttercup kept knocking it over. And so we tried setting it on the rock, but then we found that it, the ducks can't get up on the rock for one, and the buttercup knocked it over into the water. So he um, brought it out here, and then he um, the goat just has been going in the little door and then sleeping in there, I guess, and keeps it safe and um, out of the rain because we've had been getting a we have been getting a lot of rain lately, and um, he put some hay around here I think for it but so instead of a duck feeder we're using it for a little goat <laughs> goat shelter hey all the goats are enjoying it out here now I don't know if you can see um Wes um He's up on the, he was up there, you see the orange pail? He's um, putting water in for the chickens. They were out of water this morning. Hey, Granny. Where are you, Granny? We gotta milk you. Looks like Buttercup's been laying there. I'll try not to bother. She's got a bug bite on her um one teat. So every time we um, milk her, then she kicks and fights because it, it's bothering her bug bite. So we've been trying to leave her side for a little bit, but she's still it's irritated. And her side's getting fuller and fuller and fuller, so. You're okay, Granny. Easy. All right, we didn't get very much milk today. Better than nothing, so.